Look at me. Look at me. Tell me your dreams. Hello, 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 hello. It's your girl right here, Chacho Wabara. And thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you so much. On the road today, yeah, I'm on the road. I'm going to achieve it. I will achieve it by fire, by force. You know, get as you could take B. So today we'll be reviewing the movie Finding a Hobby or Finding Hobby Part 2. Remember, um, several months ago, I reviewed finding obi the first part now this is the second part i was shocked when i saw it you know i was like ah oh, oh so there's something else coming up okay i would like to see what ade laoye monachia b and um if i wara and co have to do and give us and here it goes what is it that you want do you want to go on vacation every other week you can have that. You want your own business. It's done. Do you want me to buy the company you work at and make you the boss? It's done. You can have whatever you want. I only require one thing. A wife and an heir. And actually, that's two things. Marry me or me. So, um, Finding Hobby 2 is a 2021 movie with actors and actresses like Ade Laoye, Monachia B, Kende Bankole, Charles Etubiebi, Paul Otomi, Efa Iwara, Tina Mba, Tokbe Dela, and Demi Banwo, as well as Tenilola Aladese. He <laughs> he. Um, it has this amazing, amazing, super amazing director, um, Femi Ogunsawa. Now, Femi is, Ogunsawa is um, a director that I have a lot of respect for. It did try. It did try. It really did try. Um, on a uh, flip side, um, I think this particular finding hobby too was more extensive and beautifully crafted than the first part i think um he improved um on it he improved on it in such a way that you know was able to mold this two in a way it ought to go now we see different you know the, the the growth of Munachia B in this movie, the growth of Adelaide. Adelaide's growth, you know, role in part one was a bit flighty, a bit showy, showy, and um, no depth. But in this one, uh, she was able to upgrade herself. Okay. Um. We also have um, now with. The story from where we we stopped at um, part one, it was where um, Adela Oye saw, uh, you know, saw the fiance or the boyfriend with another man. So she showed that he was having something to do with, he, he, you know, he was gay. And she was just wondering all the glees and glamour, the wealth and all that. So this guy is not perfect. When she thought that she had found her tall dark rich handsome guy and all that to match you know her perceived perception of how she wanted who she wanted to be her husband and um she now had to choose if she was able to stay with such a man who was bisexual and still you know wing it and her mom was like you better settle down no you better agree because all these people that you are saying, well, all of them, they all have skeletons in their cupboard. All these marriages, no one is, no one, no one get. Everybody is just making the best of what, you know, what they are seeing or what they have or, you know, best of the situation that they are in. So, uh, Adele Laoye is saying that, you know what, she wants it all. You know, so at the end of the she agreed to stay with the guy and um at the wedding <laughs> the guy said he wasn't going to marry a kid because Munachi Abi's um, husband, one that was asking 
I did allow it out. Just got up and said, yes. When they were saying, do you have anything to say? Or forever keep your mouth shut. Or forever remain silent. And that thing that they usually say. And the guy said, yes. Yes. He is gay. Guys, I was like, what? What? And I said, okay, you know what? I'm not marrying again. So instead of him, instead of I did allow it to have said i'm not marrying again he was the one saying you know what all this all this all of this no so of course social media carried it everybody was having a few day you know the memes came up memes came up and um you know jokes and all of that but she picked up herself and uh, moved on she went back to work and life continued she said going back to clubbing and all that but you know what apart from that first stage and how you know of how she had to overcome the embarrassment the shame i had broken the shock and all of that what i was interested in was when Efa iwara came and said i regret everything that i said you know one thing about Efa iwara is that Efa iwara is just your regular next door guy in the sense that he just makes it all natural like <coughs> sorry he just makes it all natural he just makes it all like what you would expect from the provable guy that you have something with you had something with it makes it all easy for you it makes it all easy for your eyes it's natural although it was a bit tacky in this finding hobby too i don't know maybe he has his hands full with other movies he's trying to stir in and all of that he wasn't sharp the way he was sharp in part one but that aside i was more interested in what efa iwara had to offer in this movie because um there are certain actors and actresses I see in certain movies or in movies like I don't really go in there to say, okay, the plot, blah, 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 or the storyline, blah, blah, blah. I want to see what that person, what that actor, that actress or what this director is going to do with this movie, is going to do with that particular movie. How are they going to interpret their roles? How is the director going to make everything, the producers? How are they going to do this thing? What are the writers looking for? How are they going to project this thing that will make it understandable, that will make it a success or a brilliant, you know, uh, movie? So, in this movie, I was looking forward to seeing Efa Iwara. Although, like I said, Efa Iwara was tacky in this movie. He did great. He did great. And But I found out that Ade Laoye was the one that was tr bringing out what she wanted to bring out from um, Efa Iwara. If I were, I wasn't that committed as much as I wanted him to be committed in the movie. It was just, it was just one of those movies that he was just doing yet again. It's my 101 from him this time around. I don't know why. I don't, I, I just felt like he was holding back. It wasn't his all. It wasn't. The Efa Iwara that I would usually see in movies, but. Ade Laoye is always vibrant, always, you know, the life, the everything she puts in the movie, you know, she is wonderful, she's excellent, she's there, she's just the life of the movie. The the, the storyline with Mona Chabi and her husband was wonderful, I liked the plot and all of that, and... There was a time that the movie got childish, but um, I think uh, they quickly moved it to some sensible sense. <laughs> but um, they'll be forgiven. When I was now beginning to lose interest, the whole business with Munachi Abi's husband and how he was now the one, the secret admirer, how is that, blah, blah, blah. I was losing interest. But when my interest picked up again was when... Um, the pastor called her and said he wanted to see her. And I'm like, okay, let me just see what these people have to offer because, man, I am tired. No storyline. Uh, everything was just losing. They were just losing it at that point. It was the church scene with Efa Iwara, the pastor, and all that that I now 
you know, relaxed a bit. I actually, I actually had to rewatch it again to see that scene because it was amazing. It was amazingly amazing. So, um, much as they started out right, much as um, everything was okay, the middle of the movie became childish. It was one kind, uh, but after that. It picked up again. I wouldn't say this is the best of Femi Ogunsawa. No, this is not his best. Um, he can do better than this. But I would just say that at least he salvaged it towards the end of the movie. And um, there is hoping that, you know, his next movie is better than this. But all in all, I, I, I have to commend Ade Laoye. Ade Laoye, you know, had so much to do in this movie. And graciously you know delivered her role to the t tinamba was just being tinamba she had she really did not have much to do here and her mommy role was not just um it for me as i was just focusing my attention on ade laoye and um monachi abi also did not actually do it for me as well um, I was also focusing on her friend Kende Bankole. You know, Kende Bankole and um, Adelaoye putting so much work in this movie. So, so much work. Followed by, um, I think, Charles Etubiebi and um, Efaiwara. Um, the rest, I was not too impressed. Like I've already pointed out about Efaiwara. Um, well, Chelsea Two Baby didn't really have much to do there, so um, I wouldn't be saying much about him. But then I, it was still an interesting watch for me, and I'm going to be rating it a six over ten, which brings me to the end of this drama review, this movie review. Have you seen it? Because when I saw it, um. My hands were full, but you know, I was able to settle down to see this movie because I just wanted to know just how far waiting happened before. Waiting happened, waiting don't change, you know, and it kind of pleased me, and um, I was so happy to see the movie. If you have any comments about the movie, please leave it down below in the comment section. And um, up there, you see my Korean movie review, my Chinese movie review, my Nigerian movie review, and then again, my movie reviews. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on to be alerted when new videos come up. Don't forget to subscribe. Bro. Don't forget to watch the movie to the end. Do. <laughs> so thank you so much for doing this with me. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.